Lane shooters. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, I see Dustin. What's all this for? Damn, man. Chimney. We there, we there, we there. We live. We live. So, subscribe. This is live. All right, but we got three special guests with us today. Yeah, yep, introduce yep, yourself, yeah. introduce yourself, Sorry, over here, like, you guys gotta kind of... Yo, what up, yo, it's your boy, Chief Wrecker. Are we using mm-hmm. his mics this week? Because this mic picks up the audio perfectly fine. Right? Well, no, I wasn't. Just, what up, who, yo? Who, this, who are you, brother? Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't have the audio from last week, so I added it with the plain audio. Okay, yo, we cut, you cutting through the introduction, my man. You're showing disrespect here. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, if you want me to if you want me to get in on that. Yeah, get in on that. Even if we don't, you know, we got a good prop. but... Sorry, continue along the line, fellas. No, no, I already well, said it. Sure oh, oh, oh. My name's Chief Wrecker, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yo, you know what it is? It's your boy, oh, Mike shit, Guts. Man. Frig, man. That's not me today. Camera's going, gone down. Oh, shit. Oh, that was just CDs. Oh, oh shit. It was CD. Oh, oh, it was oh, this one. Corey, yo, man, man, right there. I'm looking at Everything. myself, man. The world can't Oh, man, I'm telling you, yo, Facebook, Instagram, retrograde, fix up. Retrograde. It's shit. like, yo, we're this is not Friday. Friday yeah, really. man, it's crazy. We're like, well, this is some Wednesday we're logging out. Yeah. <laughs> that, shit went, that shit went nuts, too. We maxed out and shit. You know what? 13 brings a certain energy sometimes, There you go. Yeah, no kidding. No, there's a double side to it. Yeah, yeah, but you know what it is? Your boy Mike Guts. Yeah, one half of, you know, the super group, we eat beats, bitches. Ah. Yeah, we here. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to Toronto Talks, hey. Stoney, Maloney, Warham. Yeah. What up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Big up yeah the man, man, we here. Big up the man, for sure. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. You want to introduce yourself? It's the man known as Specs, but the girls call me Specky. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We eat beats, don't know one half, super group. Homie Mike Guts in the building. Shout out to the man, them, you know what I'm saying? Putting it down on Toronto Talks, not Toronto. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Toronto Talks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and let's get it in and get to the conversation. Thanks for having hey. us. Yeah. yeah. All right, so do we jump right into the shit? Well. Do we just splash right into the river? All right. So Cleanse the soul. Let's do it. All right. Get to that point. Come so, well. you guys opened up for Tech Nine this weekend. Dope show, by the way. Yeah, very dope yep. show. Dope show, very by dope the show. way. Very dope show. You guys, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to get a chance to see you guys. You know what I mean? I came through and. You know, I bumped into you guys, and you're like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. Went a bit earlier, I did see Ruby, who's an alumni of the show. He, he killed it, and the Tech Nine show overall was dope. But, um, shout out to Ruby Red. Yeah, yeah shout out to Ruby. You know, yeah, I just want to say that before you guys got into it. But. Yeah, nah, Ruby Ruby did his thing for sure. You know, shout out to Ruby. You know, I, I actually said to Ruby, like, yo, I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of dude, right? Because I remember, like, Ruby first starting out, like, in the whole scene and, like, you know, getting his feet wet. And he, I remember him coming to one of my first shows that I did with Peter Jackson. I think it was like I opened for like Jada or one of those bands. And Ruby came out to support. I had like a, I did a, a bus trip and he came on and supported. And you know, I remember Ruby's asking me like, yo, you know, how do you get on these shows? And you know, who do I have to talk to? Da 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 da. And you know, I said, yo, come out, introduce you to Peter Jackson, da da da. And you know, you do your thing. And then two twos later, you know, fast forward, Ruby's doing shows like you know, getting he got on a couple of my bills. He's you know, fucking with Raw Dog. And now this guy's like on everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I see the hu- I see the hustle, I see the the move on this guy. So, mm-hmm. you know, and like his show is just polished each and every time it's elevated. And at the tech show, he really did a like I was like blown away. I'm like, yo, this guy's actually on right now, man. Like he's doing his thing. So, shouts to Ruby Red, man. Like I'm I'm, I'm extremely proud of dude right now what he's doing. So, makes me noise for Ruby Red, yeah. friend of the show. Done though. Done though. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. The edibles. Oh, yeah. 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 oh yo. Yeah. He's right. got the edibles, yo. You get, you, know, you get fucked up off the edibles, you know, oh, all shit. the time. No, I've never been as hungover from all the fucking coke, fucking any fucking drug I've ever done in my life. I've done some <laughs> fucking drugs. <laughs> I've never had a fucking hangover like edibles, yeah. man. Yeah. Holy shit, that shit will fuck your whole life Straight up. up. <laughs> You'd be like contemplating, like, oh man. Jesus. Yo, tell them when you text me the 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 next day. This guy fucking sends me a text. No, it's incriminating. 
<laughs> I got you. I got you. But I got you. What I will say is, I almost crashed a vehicle oh, just because boy. of my hangover. Yeah, I, fell that, uh, I fell asleep. I fell asleep. And I don't have a driver's watch. license. I don't drive. So that's all we'll get into yeah, that. You don't want to get. <laughs> you don't want to get caught with these new laws, man. Yeah, like. Bro. Yo, you get peril off of these new laws, man. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, man. Sure. It's like they can catch you on anything. And it's yeah. like at any time be like, yo, you know, you're high and you're impaired, whatever, right? right? Like, it's, it's fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. Like, it's, it's messed up. It's Orwellian. You know, anybody even pulled over for that shit yet and got like a weed test guy? I personally do that. It's not the pull it over. Either. Yo, the man them said they can follow you to the crib. Yeah. yeah. Knock on your door. Yeah. yeah. And so, then ask you to do a test, bro. Yeah. Hey, what the hell kind of like, yo, yeah. that shit bro, is bro, that, bro? You know what I mean? I don't want to. No, that's like, fucked up. You know what I mean? Who's happening to them? Yeah, yeah. I, I think they said that they could, they could um, come to your crib with, with alcohol. They said yeah. that was yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, within like two hours of when something's been reported. That's definitely That's messed up, man. That's police state shit. That's messed up, man. Yeah. It's like you can go to you can go to a club and then do your thing, yeah. And then somebody be hating on you, yeah. Somebody hating on you, shit. Just crack the beer, yeah. The door knocks, yeah. Yo, test time. (laughs) (laughs) Going to the bin tonight, bro. What the fuck? I'd be hella mad. The worst part is if you know as a say you you have okay suspicion is one thing, but if you know he's been drinking and you know he's drunk. And he's out there driving. You're just following him. What if he gets into an accident right in front of you? Yeah. You didn't pull him over. You should have pulled him over. Yeah. Real shit. Facts. Facts. Yeah. You yeah the but the what if, uh, the what if, but ifs laws are the ones that actually destroy freedom. Yeah. For Hell, us. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Those are always the laws, like Patriot Act, shit like that, like things that you know. Those are the types of laws where it's like, oh, it's for your safety. When they can confuse you with for your safety, a law is generally never for yeah. good for yeah. you. I'm not saying follow him at home. I'm just saying don't follow him at home. Stop him in the street because if you're drunk. And he wanted to get home. But that's the scary part about that law, too, is that, like, you could go home and they have a two hour grace period. So, like, let's say I'm designated driving all night. I get to the crib. I want to get fucking drunk. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I slam like a 2 4 back in like an hour. Not realistically, (laughs) but you know what I mean? Like 12. And then fucking cops show up. Oh, you blew over. Yeah, no shit. I just drank a 12 pack. You know what I mean? But like yeah. now, now I have to prove that. Yeah, now yeah. everything's mandatory too. It's not. Yeah, I know. No judgment. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. that's the messed up thing. It's right. like they can catch you on anything, right? And they'll just give you a ticket. Yeah, and it's like you still gotta go and fight it. Yeah. and that's the fucked up thing. It's like, and and the the money is ridiculous, yeah. right? But it's like it's a cash grab. Yeah, that's all it is. All this shit, all these laws, it's always a cash grab. Yeah, yeah. right, like. Every law that you look at, right? And every. A cash grab in a way to control people. Exactly. You know? But, you know, when you put cases to the courts, like, who's getting paid? Who's getting money off of everything, right? Like, yeah. off of each case. Yeah. Everyone's eating that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so. you know what I'm saying? And it's like our freedoms are Everyone's being made money. profitable. You know, like, that's yeah. the scary that's shit. That's the shit, right? That's can, the scary we can, shit. We can like, sell private owned prisons is the worst idea of anything I've sure. ever heard on this planet. Like, that's one of the most atrocious things. And people, like, just turn a blind eye to it. Like, Oh yeah, I guess yeah. It's a, it's an investment. It's a company. Like yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Nah. No, like the <laughs> government should be ra- running the fucking prison system, or else what the fuck yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. All right, the government's gonna prosecute you, and then Joe Schmo over here, who had enough money to buy a prison and get a permit to open it, gets to run your shit. Like what? Yeah. 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 Like tell me how that makes any fucking yeah. sense. You have to pass the checks, you know, when they come around. That's just nuts, though. Months, no. That's fucking like nuts, though. Six months, you gotta pass their checks and their tests. And That's fucking nuts, though. They gotta, they gotta make that money, bro. Come on, you know they hustling, right? Hey, man, no, that's just <laughs> nuts, man. That's, that's what it is, man. <laughs> it's, yeah, they 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 up on you, man. That's it. They just they just getting that shit. Right? They just doing it right. It is, and it's like we're giving them, but the thing is, like we're giving them the the freedoms to do it. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's the crazy shit. We can't really. You could do something, but it's like, are you willing? How far are you willing to go with it, right? Was like, the, in, in the terms of like, I feel like it's only a matter of time. Oh, speaking of rebellion, rebellion and whatever. The only way that shit will ever work time, is though, everyone you know does it. straight, and that's if the problem. One guy does it, you just need one. Yeah. If one guy does it, eh, if you just need one to ruin everything, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like they'll they'll, they'll plant like. Child pornography on your pr- on your oh, computer, and, yeah. then, and then just kick in the oh, door. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, you have a whole ring. Well, one thing I want to yeah. say regarding yeah. that huh? is uh, one thing I want to say regarding that is they can they can technically throw anything on your computer. Hell the yeah. FBI yeah. investigated yeah. Michael Jackson for ten years yeah. and doesn't have a shred of evidence in yeah. their tens of thousands of files. 
and not find nothing. nothing. You could have planted something on his hard drive in that yeah. time, like. <laughs> I haven't even watched that documentary, but from what I haven't either. I've just I, garnered I, I, from what respective yeah, exactly. opinions have said about exactly. it. Exactly. But and everyone has this I don't know, same man. sentiment. I always thought Michael was weird. I always thought he is weird. Maybe, maybe he did that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Like, everybody like, thought that yeah. because of okay, how weird he was. Everybody got super it, weird. You know what right I'm saying? Because no, he's strange. You, you had that, but like, he had a lot of reasons to be weird. But, but, but the thing is, is that like he went through the court system and he was found like not guilty and and when the. The, with the whole thing with the feds having the the documents that they have, why would they want to protect Michael Jackson? Yeah. Why would they want to do all that? Wouldn't they want to do the opposite? Yeah, yeah I don't think any, I don't think there's any brings. sort of money that can really pay off the feds if they really want you that. Not bad. like that. And, and a character like Michael Jackson, like they went after Bill and Cosby. Yo, if you had the feds you know on your side, you wouldn't have been settling these cases. To, to if you had the feds on your side, you'd be shook night and through that shit. Like, right? Right? fuck y'all. Work, like, I, I feel like they're all part of that shit. Like, yeah. And then, like, yo, they do something wrong to cross the line. And then they're like, oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, like, in, like in training day. Yeah, yeah. You know how Denzel just rolls on the man. The man's his brethren for like 30 years. They're yeah. running moves. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. After, he's his mentor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everything. Yeah. Right? And then he was just, yeah. he's just yeah. one day, yeah, I got to roll on his head. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like one of those. It's yeah. like one of those. Like that. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's we like gotta, we gotta take a moment out to make some noise for Mike Stanley falling asleep during the uh, podcast. Uh, Typical Mike Stanley. Typical Mike Stanley. I know everybody has their own Mike Stanley oh, sleeping story. Yeah. <laughs> I know everybody has. I know they have at least <laughs> two or three really stories from Mike Stanley. Those two blunts are nice. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to the herb, like Mike knocks out quick, bro. Especially what? the edibles. The edibles, fuck. Yo, bro. what did you oh, eat? Edibles. edibles and not today. Oh, shit. Mike could be DJing your set, and you see him, he's... <laughs> <laughs> tunes done, just... Yo, that's scary. Play it next tune. Have you ever <laughs> he's fallen asleep DJing? Yeah, of course. You have? Yeah. Hell yeah. Of course he has. Oh yeah. You don't know Mike Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Mike Stanley. <laughs> 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 I don't know Mike Stanley. <laughs> 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 I don't know Mike Stanley. Mike Stanley. Mike Stanley. What do you mean? It's a regular thing for Mike. Yeah, yeah. That's just fucked up. That's a regular thing. What's new? Like Stones, yo. I was high, master. bro. That shit blew up. You, <laughs> you gotta get some sleep, bro. bro. Before we start the show, Mike's like, yeah, <laughs> oh shit, I'm not sleeping for the next two days. We're like, four what? Days. You're like, yo, yeah, four, four days. days. <laughs> got a lot of work to do. A lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> Double, triple bookings and shit. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. What's, what's the St. Patrick's Day schedule? Like? Um, I'm, booked I'm Saturday supposed to be Sunday, at, um, I'm supposed to be at um, Cabin. Okay. Yeah. Both days? Like Saturday no, and Sunday or just oh, Sunday? Oh, Sunday is the joint with da- Daniel. Your favorite artist? Daniel? <laughs> My favorite artist. <laughs> Shout out Daniel. Yo. Shout out Daniel. <laughs> Shout out Daniel. Or Quinn's, <laughs> Quinn's favorite artist. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. Wow. That's, that's wow. like archives. Yo, shout out to Daniel, yo. Shout out to Quinn. Shout out to Quinn. Shout out to Quinn C. Martin. Shout out to Quinn C. Martin. I didn't take the pressure off of myself. I think you had to release some smoke. Is Quinn now? I think so. I talked to him today. Is he? He's here? He's here. Oh, okay. All right. Quinn's going down south, man. No, stop this talk, man. Stop these times, bro. America. Amer- America. 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 Really don't fucking say. <laughs> and you see, pulling out the phone and showed them pictures and shit. I was like, oh, Mike must have fucking killed it, yo. You guys must have like destroyed it. Listen, so, listen. shout out you guys, man. Listen, so I just did my thing. Crazy. We did our thing. Like it was, yo, the Tech Nine show was dope. Can, Real talk. Can I just say? Dope. Can I just say, like, really quick, though, like, we were the only, probably, like, the only black guys in the Oh, yeah. Oh, we're all yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. We're the <laughs> damn sure, bro. Oh, That's how it is, bro. Uh, like, crazy. Oh, my gosh. I think man. I counted probably, what, like, uh, 20? <laughs> and we were all 30? We were kind of all, like, huddled <laughs> together in the back. <laughs> we were in a different like, Wow. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. kind of worried. Yo, yeah. tech yeah. brings out some different people, man. Yeah, Real white t- people I, love tech. Yo. man. He's like that underground secret. Oh, I didn't even see that. He's not even a secret, though. He's like, he's like. Like the cliche. Yeah. I saw my, 
atmosphere is the underground secret. Yeah, that's it. Chucky doll. Yeah, that's why he went with the Chucky doll. It's like sounds like a cliche for like hip hop kids who aren't white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hip-hop, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, kids yeah, who are like, hip hop who are white. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's like the tech nice yeah, yeah. yeah. Like any like, punk rocker kid I know who likes like w- you know one or two rap artists, tech nine is one of them. Like yeah. always, because it's like, like, almost rockish. It's like yeah, it's that like, hard. Like it's like wow, blood and fucking yeah, yeah. Ah. Like <laughs> me, I personally can't really listen to tech yeah. nine. Yeah. It's too much. And no disrespect. Shout out tech nine, friend of the other show. Make some noise for tech nine. I can't even clap. I want to get. The- <laughs> I can't clap, but I'm no, I, not in a bad way. It's because of how you said that shit. Is <laughs> Yo, to me, to me, as I was watching him, like and, and, and um, like the audience or whatnot, he's really similar to Eminem. He just doesn't have like the the same crowd that Eminem. Or he has the same crowd, but he doesn't have the same amount of audience that Eminem has. Like he's like new like, Eminem, where like it's just like a bunch of words that rap, Eminem. but it's not really like yeah, a whole boy, lot yeah. of yeah. real Eminem. substance. He, he came up before him. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't I the mean, biggest yeah, yeah. Tech Nine fan growing up, but I mean, I like like more honestly some of his older shit yeah, that I do yeah, with yeah, new yeah, shit. Yeah. Like when I'm a tal and like oh, they killed it. I'm a player yeah. and shit yeah. like that. Okay, everybody. but I mean, like from opening for him, and I, I, this is the second time actually that like I performed with Tech, and yeah. and uh, he kills it. He yeah, kills he puts it. on a he good show. It. He puts on yeah. a wicked show. Like one hundred percent. You know, and like he's a humble dude, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. he's yeah. super yeah. cool, dude. Super, super cool, cool, dude. Like yeah. I remember watching watching him when he came down for uh, Rock the Bells like years back. Yeah, same and with Chris uh, Calico and like the when it was uh, at the Molson Amphitheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. Um, Damian Marley. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got so, VIP passes for that. I remember meeting so some people So I remember him performing and, dicks. and then afterwards <laughs> he came out in the crowd and like was just chilling, right? Like yeah. and just, you know, hanging out with the crowd and like just like yeah, you don't he really was see cool. that from a lot of artists, yeah. right? Yeah, a lot of them just go back in the back. And yeah. Just, uh, no, that's actually It's like, oh yeah, you know, pay your money like to come see me. Yeah, cuz when we went to that, I bought the VIP passes to like be backstage and like meet whoever they had meet and greets with right yeah. back in that time and fucking um tech nine was the one artist i met in the crowd i didn't yeah, meet yeah, him yeah, with yeah, the yeah, vip yeah, package yeah, yeah, like yeah, i met him yeah, like he was just yeah, chilling yeah, in the yeah, crowd yeah. Yeah. they mobbed him after his set man he was cool like he came off stage and he was like you said a humble dude he stood outside and there's a line of people from the exit of the stage he had his two security there it was like in the hallway you yeah. go like um further down to the like, washroom and stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you could go back to the stage right and he right was standing there, there was a line of people bro absolutely and he was just meeting them signing the autographs taking the pictures like, absolutely one, two, yeah. like yeah so yeah connected with them you know what i'm saying dope, absolutely dope. It's always good I, for an artist, i was really impressed with chris calico and i always am oh, i'm never yeah. i'm never gonna yeah, lie yeah, yeah. i have that song on stable wow. still stuck yeah. in my head like i've been singing on stable for the last yeah. few days <laughs> i still got that that yeah. jam stuck in my head man so yeah. No, he killed like it, man. Did. When he did the R. Kelly the thing. R. Kelly. Yeah. That's exactly. That was like, oh, shit. R. Kelly. Yeah. Kelly shit. That was R. Kelly. Yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. R. Kelly. Yeah. That was, that was funny. Oh, that man, that was, was 40 still, bro. Man. <laughs> no, no. It was a good show, though. It was a really good show. It was, you know, a lot of people. The vibes was good. Like, you know, performances were dope. Like, yeah. It was a good show. 